Have you ever experienced anything you'd consider? Yes. Last question. Do you know what mutants are? Marvel had some photos leaked and it's causing speculation to wonder, is this movie gonna go to video on demand or is it gonna stay in theater? Take a look at what we're talking about. What you're seeing right here are leaked photos from New Mutants. First one you saw was Cecilia Ray's powers. Second one you see Magic standing in front of the dimension of Limbo. Then you got the Demon Bear. He's gonna be the main antagonist. And you can see he's an ugly you know what. And then lastly, Ooh. you got the Tooth Monster. And that's something that we haven't seen much of from this movie, The New Mutants. Now, if you guys don't know anything about The New Mutants, it was made two years ago, fellas, two years ago by Fox when they had yeah. some of the, the X-Men Marvel properties, right? And they kept pushing it back, pushing it back. Now, Marvel has control of it. It was supposed to get released very soon, but we got coronavirus. Yeah. So, so now the thought is in the air that because these scenes got leaked, are they leaning toward dropping it on Disney Plus um, around the holiday if we're still kind of stuck with COVID-19? Or will they try to release it before Black Widow, which is supposed to come out by November? The thing is, I don't even know, fellas, if we're going to be, I don't know if we're going to be going back to the movie theater by the fall especially with some of these cities going backwards could you legitimately see this that was supposed to be pushed to a movie theater put on vod larry i give it to you first yeah i think i honestly believe the new mutants is going to come out sooner than later and the reason why i say that is it was supposed to come out i believe it was supposed to be out like 2018 you know, coming week i think it was supposed to come out like this week or something originally right. And then they pushed it back to, uh, then they pushed it back and said they were going to release it on VOD mm -hmm. on like May 22nd. And then they what? changed it again and said that they were going to, they were going to release it in the theaters, but they were going to, then they pushed it all the way back to like November or December or something. Right. And so right. they kept playing with those dates, but the fact that they had already at one point decided they were going to put it out on, on video on streaming tells me that they may be looking at this situation now and saying, Hey, even if, even if we were to push it back and release it in the theaters, we may not make as much money doing a theatrical release than we would by simply putting it out on, on video, on streaming. Because even if we wait till the end of the year, there's still gonna be all kinds of capacity restrictions in the theater. So if you have a 300 seat theater, and they say you can only operate at one quarter, you know, at, at one quarter of your capacity, well, that's just, I mean, you're, you're talking about 75 people in a 300 seats theater, mm. you know, mm. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know how they expect they're going to make all their, their hundreds of millions of dollars like that. They'd be better off just either releasing it on the Disney app, the Disney plus app, or, or, uh, you know, maybe doing like a, a pay-per-view, you know, a rental mm. thing. And then after a certain period of time, then putting on the Disney plus app. I don't know. So T streams could Marvel pull what they done with, with trolls and trolls made a hundred million dollars and this movie was very low budget was it really so, yeah it was very low budget so could marvel pull the same thing that was done by universal and trolls with new mutants right that would probably be the that would probably be the best idea to try especially if the movie is already two years old um you don't want to just continue to to sit on it, you you keep sitting on it. It's gonna it's gonna eventually lose its it's gonna eventually lose its appeal to those who it was initially you know appealing to or that it was marketed to. So they you know if they looking at that you know what I would do you know I would go ahead and and push it because of the simple fact you got these other big budget releases that you already pushed back. So. Use these as a platform. Use these as a platform to try to to test the waters to see if if whether or not uh, trolls was just a, a you know a once in a while fluke or if it's something that could actually be you know that they could actually do some systematic uh, planning and, and patterning after. You, you got to have something to work with. You can't push all the movies you know 
out another year or so. But I'm looking at the fact that 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 movie has already been made. You know, folks that went to the movies a long time ago was still was was seeing previews for that movie a long time ago in the theaters. And, you know, here it is, you know, time is time is constantly rolling, rolling, rolling. So go ahead, put it out on put it out on the streaming service, test the water, see how well it do. And that will, you know, along with that and a few other films that you're going to have to take some risks just to see. You Mm -hmm. you can't hold everything and say, okay, we're going to get over this. We're going to get. Yeah, we're going to get over this. But damn, at what expense? Are you just going to push all movies and just hold every everything that you think is going to be good and and like high, you know, high blockbuster films and just hold them off another year or so? Uh, wait for the world to, to to bounce back to normal. You can't, you know, you really can't do that. You know, no. some, some idiot may may think that you know that it would be plausible, but but with something like that. Go ahead, push that out. See, you know, test the water, see how it run, and then use it as a platform uh, or a guide to to see where you, what direction you want to take future films, because they don't actually have to have all of the future Marvel films. You know, they don't have to have them all the way out there. I think that some of them they could actually, you know, push the streaming, if, you know, if they want to as well. You know, I don't see why they didn't, you know, why they didn't do Black Widow that way. Mm. But, uh, and, and, and this is the thing when you start talking about pushing people into the streaming platforms when you when you say okay we're going to release we're going to release the new mutants and then we're going to release black widow or something you know let's say that you you say you're going to you're going to do new mutants on you know this month in may and then you're going to do black widow in say july most people that are going to be like oh dang i want to see that i'm going to go ahead and, and subscribe well, most people aren't going to say, okay, well, I'm going to subscribe for for May and then I'll cancel it in June and then I'll pick it back up in July. Most people are just going to keep it. People will get it and they'll say they'll get it in for they'll get it in May for New Mutants. They'll they'll just say whatever, I'll just watch whatever random stuff in June and then they'll back in July they'll go watch the uh the Black Widow. And maybe they keep maybe they put something else after that. So they basically are they just keep getting people to stay on the subscription and they make their money. You know, and on top of that, and I think this is something that's important to remember. I know that that sometimes we often think about our our fifteen and twenty dollar movie tickets. Mm-hmm. the The actual studios don't need to sell that product for that much money when they're not having to share it with the theaters. Right. You know, they don't need to sell a twenty dollar rental. That I mean, they can, but they don't really have to to make their money back. You know, they can sell, they can put that rental out there for $10 or $12, or they can just put it as a, as a part of their subscription service on Disney plus and make their money back. Cause they don't have to worry about sharing 50% of that profit with the theaters. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I can almost, I can almost guarantee you if they, if they took that and then followed it up with another one, you know, four or five, six weeks afterwards or something like that. And then maybe, you know, maybe another one, if folks would see that and, and just like you say they oh shit all everything going to Disney Plus or everything going to there but we yeah. might let's go ahead and get it let's you know and it'll it'll almost be like a force wave going to whatever platform is is released to uh so I think that you know uh with the the previous experience and feedback from trolls if I was you know, if I was one of the executives over one of those, I would definitely gamble it. I mean, what the hell do you got to lose? <laughs> you know? And think, I mean, think of Netflix as a model for that. I mean, think about all the people that subscribe to Netflix for a particular TV series when they wanted to watch House of Cards. Think about how many people subscribe to that series to watch House of Cards and they stayed on there because then they offered something else. Or they found something else on it that they liked and wanted to watch, and then they keep it. Well, that somebody may have signed up for a free trial. They got their seven days free, and the next thing you know, they're paying twelve dollars a month, or fourteen dollars a month, or whatever they're paying based on their their you know their subscription level. And it's the same thing with Disney. You sign in there. Think about how many people signed up because they wanted to watch The Mandalorian, and they still have that subscription. 